I worked with a team that I was managing who had the ability to work on a brand new project, which rarely happens, like totally greenfield. They weren't having to, you know, uh, retire anything or sunset any products. They weren't having to integrate anything. It was literally going to be brand new and it got to be their ideas. And so they were really excited. We had a brainstorming session around, you know, what's our product strategy? What do we want to do? And it ended up expanding from one day to two days to a week. And Mm. I was trying not to be the helicopter manager. And I was saying, you do you, what's your goal for the day? Where do you want to be? And then I would come back and they'd say, we have all these amazing ideas. And I would say, that's great. Does it align with the vision of the product and what we've said we're going to deliver in Mm. three months? Some of that absolutely did, but then there was all this extra stuff. And that doesn't mean that stuff's never going to be valuable, but we haven't validated that it's going to be. So we know the thing that we've already tested is going to be valuable. Well, what are ways that we can kind of get a little bit more granular with that and actually interact with some users to ensure, again, that we're on the right path? And if we have a deadline that we're working against, um, I think a lot of times there's a misconception. It's like these anti-patterns that happen with anything around agility, where it's you don't have requirements, you don't have deadlines. That's just not the reality of the world that we live in. It's right. people need things delivered. Um, if we're not to a point where we can continuously deliver something and we're starting small, then what does that look like? So I think doing that in smaller slices and t- trying not to kill the groove of people being excited to build something, like that's great. And let's make sure it aligns to what we're doing. 